Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It is very nice to see you and it's great to be back here shaving. Um, any new subscribers, anyone watching for the first time today, hello, welcome along to Kevy Shaves YouTube channel. Mostly shaving stuff on this, probably all my videos are shaving related. Uh, and to all my regular viewers, thank you very much for joining me again. Um, those that comment on my videos, I really appreciate it. There's some guys comment um, every time on, on my videos, so I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, and to the regular viewers, you know who you are, you're keeping it real uh, and uh, supporting my channel um, in ways I can only um, uh, thank you for. <laughs> that made a lot of sense, didn't it? Yeah, so anyone new watching, that's kind of what it's like. Okay, what are we using for today's shave? Well, the weather here is getting a little bit colder, so I thought I would go with um, a bit of a, an autumnal stroke winter scent today. Um, I was sent some products by um, Super Safety Razors recently, so I'm going to use some of these things that they've um, sent me. Um, they've sent me stuff in the past and I've reviewed it and you guys have supported them and I've supported them and stuff like that. So. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Um, the soap for today, uh, Taconic Shave Bay Rum Shaving Stick. Uh, this comes in a stick. You twist the bottom here and you can see the, the solid soap popping up there. And it's a nice scent. I have the cream of this uh, particular Bay Rum, the Taconic Shave. Let me just show you that there. Uh, that's a good cream, it's quite a, a spicy, a sweet spicy scent. This smells very similar, I'll let you guys have a look at the ingredients on the back there. It's kind of hard, I'll, I'll do it like this and then kind of turn it around and you can see. Some people like to see the ingredients. This is uh, made in the USA. Um, so that's the soap I'm going to be using. The razor for today is the Parker variant. Here's the razor there. Uh, this is a two-piece razor, adjustable, uh, and inside that, uh, following on the theme from blades I haven't used or tried before, this is a brand new Timor blade. Um, if that's just going to focus, there we go. Yeah, I've never tried these blades before. Um, I was sent some of these by Oive Chapo. Um, so I'm going to try them and here is the packing for the blades. Timor Solingen, so I'm guessing a German blade. Um, yeah, so this razor, these two lines have to be lined up properly for the mechanism to work as it should uh, and you twist the bottom here and they have there's numbers along the bottom here i'm just checking the blade alignment that's all good uh, numbers around the bottom dial from one to five so i'm going to have it today on setting three which you can see just there so that's the blade, the razor, the soap, the brush. Again, thank you very much, Nancy and Howie at Super Safety Razors. Uh, it's a Parker brush, comes in this lovely box, and there's the brush in there. I'll just take it out, and you get this um, little stand with it, which is very nice. And here's the brush. This is a marble ivory handle and it's a, a black synthetic knot. Nice backbone in it. Yeah, let me just show you that. Very nice. The thing I like about Parker brushes is the weight. The weight of this brush, I, um, I have a Badger brush by Parker as well, and um, just the weight in it is really good. There's a solid piece of metal here at the bottom. Um, yeah, and there's the brush. You can see there, it's beautiful. Very nice. So, that's the brush. 
So let me just wet the brush with some water. As it is a synthetic, you don't have to soak this. Badger and boar brushes you do just to soften them up. Now what should I do today? Should I uh, should I apply the soap like that? Or should I just use the brush? I think I'll just apply it to my face. So I'm just twisting the bottom here, pushing it up. It's a nice scent on it. I'll just wet my face and then we'll apply the soap to the whiskers. Okay, so the whiskers are here. And right away you can see just gathering some soap onto the whiskers. Some people prefer to um, gather the soap. I just wet the brush, I'm just shaking it like that. It's kind of messy as you can see, so um, I've just applied it to my face like this. And I think that should be enough. Okay, let's just uh, wet the brush again, give it a little squeeze, and move it to lathering up. There's nice backbone in this brush actually, and you can see it's playing there. And as you can see, that's lathering up very easily. Yeah, nice, nice bit of backbone in the brush. This is the first time I've used this brush, so kind of new to me, but very soft, as most most uh, synthetic brushes are. But again, as I mentioned before, the weight—it's the weight in these brushes, the Parker brushes which I really uh, like and enjoy. Let me just dip the brush in the water a little bit. Here we go, look at that. Explosion of lather. Yeah, it's a nice bay rum scent. It's, um, it's not too strong or overpowering. It's a nice, it's a sweet bay rum I would say. Not too clovey either. There's the lather there, very nice. I shall leave that next to the stick in case we need to go back to it. Let me just uh, get some more hot water in here. So how is everyone? How has your week been? Hope you're having some good shaves. I'm just uh, dipping the razor in the water just to get some heat in that. Okay, Parker variant setting three. Uh, let's go. Listen to that. Wow, the, uh, the audio feedback on that is incredible. It's a nice uh, slick soap. Yeah, I really like this razor. Some people prefer it over the uh, Progress, as do I. I think they, uh, they took all the bad bits of Progress and, and made it better with this. It's rightly barking. And I can feel I'm 
This is a sharp blade. Yeah, I can feel how sharp that blade is. As it should be. <laughs> used a, a Timor blade before. So this is the first time. It feels smooth but um, I would say it feels quite sharp but not harsh like a feather. Very nice. Okay first pass done. Nice slickness there. Okay let me just rinse I will come straight back. Okay rinsed off. Back to the brush. Just painting the leather, I'm just dipping the tips. <laughs> There's still plenty of leather left in here. Not having to go back to the shaving stick yet. Yeah, first use of this brush and look at the leather it's creating. <laughs> Flying all over the place. Some of the uh, the brushes being made today, I see pictures of them on Instagram, and they're just incredible looking things. They're like pieces of art. Oh, there's a little one of the bristles. Always to be expected on your first use of a brush, just until it settles in. But this is a nice lather, nice bare rum scent. There we go. Uh, I think I'll just leave the progress on setting three the second pass which is across the grain. There is a, a little bit of overhang on this razor, just to be aware of, just uh, poking out the side there, can you see? Yeah, so. Just to be careful of. I was um, I was away for the weekend. The weekend passed there as it was my um, birthday. We went up to the the Highlands in Scotland. Some of my, some of the family and had a great time. We were there from the the Friday to the Monday. And it's just so peaceful. Up there is really nice, beautiful scenery, the colours and the trees and stuff were just amazing. Uh, very nice. So I had a good birthday. <laughs> There's Riley squeaking his... How <laughs> can you hear that? He's squeaking his toy ball. <laughs> yeah, what is it with the YouTube shavers and um, their pets? 
I know it's Paul H. Um, every time he does a shave now, his uh, cat, you can hear it meowing. <laughs> Just outside the bathroom. Cool. Two passes done. Feels excellent. Very nice. Nice slickness from that soap. Okay, let me rinse. I'll come straight back. Here we go. Back for pass three. I know, just... And the good thing about this soap is, although it has been sitting on the sink, it's not dried out any. There's still a nice moisture to it. And still plenty of lather here for the third pass. Riley, I'll come play once uh, once the shave's finished. Yeah, he, he understands. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I bet he does it again. For the against the grain pass, I'm going to turn this down to two. Number two. Uh, where are we? Focus. Yeah, just because it's a new blade and it does feel quite sharp, so just erring on the side of caution for the. Listen to that scraping toast. That sounds amazing. Yeah, Parker seemed to... Uh, I've just got to watch because there's a little spot here. I actually discovered the other day it's, it was an ingrown hair. Yeah, I was, I was saying... Um, I'll get there. Yeah, Parker have taken all the bad bits of the, the progress, like the, the yellow dial, um, well, mainly the yellow dial and the, the lack of knurling on the handle. And for me, I've made it just spot on. So, um, hats off to Parker for that. And it does feel, it feels like a, a chunkier razor for some. Although it isn't, it's, it's got a nice weight and balance to it. This is a nice blade, the Timor. Kindly sent to me by um, Ivy Chapel. <laughs> he just wants to play. Okay, three passes done. have a little feel about for the pickups and yeah, not much down here a little bit here mm, a little bit on my chin okay let's uh still a good amount of lather left in the brush 
Yeah, moustache looks great. I'm not sure how much there'll be left to scoop out the brush, but we'll give it a go. I'm just leaving it on two. It always seems to be just in this little bit here, which you can you can probably hear. I'm just doing my jawline. <laughs> That's really upstaging me. <laughs> Are you guys laughing too? <laughs> okay, a little feel, just a little tiny bit there. There's nice, uh, there's nice residual slickness from the soap. Very nice actually, just one little bit there. Very lightly. Okay. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Feels great, no irritation at all. Right, let's see how much is left in this brush. Mm, a little bit. Nice, look at the peaks on that. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna rub what's left, which isn't much, but there's enough here to have a little face wash. Get some good properties, a nice smell from this bay rum soap. I'll rinse off with hot water, cold water, and I'll see you in the post shave. Arr, bay rum, arr! There we have it. Wow. Skin feels great, very soft. Yeah, post shave feels very nice. Okay, um, on to the post shave. Got a hair in my mouth. Uh, Super Safety Razors have just brought out some new splashes which they sent me very kindly. Um, here's, here's one of them here, the one I'm going to be using, which is Bay Rum. Um, now, they did tell me that this particular formula that I have, um, they're going to be lightening the glycerin, adding more glycerin just to make it a little bit more like um, the aftershave. I'll give you a look at the ingredients. Again, because this is a round bottle, um, you may be able to see it there. This has witch hazel in it, so I'm not going to use any witch hazel. It comes in a little screw top. There's a little flow cap there. Flow cap, is that what you call it? I don't think it's a flow cap. It's a restrictor. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to apply some of this. It's a nice scent. It's bay rum. Yeah, I don't have a bay rum splash. And this has menthol in it. And I can feel it. But it's very smooth. It doesn't um it doesn't sting because there's no alcohol in it. Or is there? Well, I wouldn't think so because they sent it. Um, no, no alcohol. But it does have menthol, as you can see. But um, you know what, if they're gonna be adding more glycerin to that, it feels very nice. Yeah, they just want to make it a little bit lighter, so all, any of you, if you're buying any of the aftershave splashes or um, any of these from now on from Super Safety Razors, it will be a bit different formula, more a bit lighter just to make it, I don't know, <laughs> it will make it better I guess because they wouldn't uh, 
add anything or take anything away if it was making it worse. But that feels very nice. Nice scent. It's quite a, it's not an overpowering scent again, like the soap is quite a light scent, but there's plenty of menthol in that. My skin feels very chilled and you can see by my eyes that, um, but no, yeah, that's gone off now. That's very nice. Nice post shave. Yeah, maybe a little bit more glycerin would help. It's uh, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit sticky. This particular formula, but as I say, they've changed the formula now. So if you order any, it will be the new formula with more glycerin. But it feels very nice. Nice shave. One little, tiny little bit there. Um, and I'm going to finish it off with the Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm. This is the unscented. Just that much. You only need a small amount. And as usual, I always take a big amount. Because I'm a wet shaven product whore. Yeah. And you know what? I've always said that about Parker stuff. It does get overlooked from a lot of people, but. They do make some great stuff and they have came on um, leaps and bounds in the last two or three years. They did get a bad press for some quality control issues like a few years back, but the stuff they're putting out now is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, a nice shave, feels great, no irritation at all, very close. Kevy's a happy bunny. What more can you say? Okay, let's go over what we've used then. The razor for today was the Parker Variant. Let me just give that a little wipe. Parker Variant. There we go. Two piece razor. Uh, first two passes on setting three. Clean up and uh, against the grain pass on setting two. And the blade inside that was a Timor blade. Brand new Timor blade. Nice blades, very sharp, but very smooth. Um, yeah, kind of. I would, I would say it's as sharp as a feather, but um, it's a lot more smoother than a feather. <laughs> Let me tell you that, especially on the against the grain pass. Uh, um, the Parker variant, great razor. The brush for today, wonderful, wonderful. Parker marble ivory handle, black synthetic brush, uh, synthetic knot. Very nice. I think this retails for about 30 bucks, 30 US dollars, but very nice. I really like it. Great weight in it, great weight in it. Very good. The soap today was Taconic Shave Bay Rum Shaving Stick. Again, a good soap, great for travel. Um, comes in this little tube, very good. I really liked it, nice sweet Bay Rum scent. Uh, we then rinsed the soap in rinsed the soap in, washed the soap in, uh, rinsed off with hot water, cold water, and then applied the Taconic Shave Bay Rum Splash. Again, I said these are just, they've just became available, but they've, I think they've changed the formula or they're in the process of changing the formula. So they may be out of stock on the website, but um, I think they are getting them back in the new formula very, very soon. So um, I'll put the link to the uh, Super Safety Razors website and you can go and check it out. Lots and lots of great things on there. Uh, thank you once again, Nancy and Howie, for sending me some of these products. Uh, I really enjoy using them, and uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, we finished it off with the Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm Unscented. Again, very good. Yeah, so lots of ideas for Christmas on that website. <laughs> so uh, go and have a look. Um, have you started your Christmas list yet? I have, and... Uh, it's growing by the day, but I'm, I'm trying not to buy any soaps because I've just got way too much soaps. Yeah, right, Kevy. yeah. <laughs> right, okay, that's all for me for today. Um, thank you once again for all your support. Thank you for watching, for all the comments, the likes, the dislikes. Thank you for them all. Um, yeah, so until the next time, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful rest of this week. Uh, enjoy your shaves, enjoy life, uh, and until the next time, I shall see you very soon. So take care. I love you all. See ya.